Hey, welcome back! If you missed the first video of this, this is the second because we've actually been building a new modern day princess apartment. What? No, stop. And this one's for Elsa. So yeah, if you haven't seen this part uh, of the build, which we've already done, make sure you check it out. I'll put a little link to it in the corner. But we still have, we're not done. So we need to expand on here. And at the end of the last video, I showed you this tree. This tree is about to go into this apartment or is it? Well, we're gonna utilize it in the apartment. Whether it's gonna go in or not, I mean, it's a really, really tall tree. Oh yes, it did come out of the Lego Creator bookshop set and I've just kind of changed the foliage around a bit, but I wanna put it over here. My original thought was it's actually gonna be a tree that separates the lounge room from the kitchen and I could even like make it a little sunken separating area with a yoga space. I really like that idea, but that's not where we're actually heading. This is actually gonna be a little balcony and this extravagantly tall tree is going to be living out on the balcony. It's gonna need an extravagantly big pot to go in it. I mean, everything about this apartment is extravagant. The height of the walls, it's uh, yeah, got a little bit out of hand, but you know what? Let's just continue with it being out of hand. So we're gonna build a pot and we need outward facing studs to kind of build it up around the outside of Anyway, we'll see. So let's put this on. I'm so good at describing what's happening. So this is the idea, but that's not gonna be, that's not gonna be quite tall enough. So if I attach those roundy, smoothy, angly bits, these things, onto here, then, then we can just kind of decorate the top of it with these nice lotus printed pieces that came from one of the dots bracelets. Those dots, bra dots bracelets have the best printed tiles. So these ones are gorgeously elegant and they're gonna work so well. So we're gonna put this on like that and then we're gonna multiply this by three and um, putting them on each side around the base of the tree. Very nice. Look, I mean, this is, I mean, it's not quite <laughs> if you put this poor tree in a pot this size, it would not thrive. But this is make-believe, so that's fine. So this is still such a huge pot. So we're going to put it in the back corner here. But before we do that, we've got things we need to build in behind it. So we want massive doors, sliding doors. Sliding doors so we can open it up, open up the lounge room to the outside world. So if we're going to have sliding doors, we need smooth tiled area to slide them across. So let's get this slidey smooth bit happening here. And this black plate is where the fixed part of the door is going to be. But let's get some wall in behind this. Oh my gosh, we've got so much, to, <laughs> so much to do just for a balcony. So nice big tall walls. And then using the transparent blue pieces to make a nice big glass panel here and then the fixed part of the door next to that. We're using the same sort of idea as the window but bigger like the window that is to the back of the lounge room but I need to get this up to height so we're gonna I'm kind of I'm mixing around black blue glass and clear glass to just make it look really extravagant <laughs> and we need another smooth tile here because the sliding door is gonna slide in front of this. Right, okay, so this is um, gonna build a really big sliding door. Let's see, <laughs> let's see how this works. I don't even know how we're gonna fix it. Yes, I do know how we're gonna fix it in position. We're gonna fix it in position from the top and we're just gonna replicate our fixed door look. So with all these translucent pieces here, transparent pieces here, and then some nice big windows there, and then some nice trans bricks on the top. And then this is our door. Our sliding part of the door. It doesn't slide all the way open, but it slides open enough. Like it's a nice, massive, it's massive, massive door. And we need a big pillar for the other side to stop it from falling off the edge of the apartment. And how to hold it in place well, at the moment, it's very, very unstable. So we're going to use one of these pieces, which I don't know what they're called. These, uh, I don't know, it's the, the bits with a groove in them, and then you can slide the bricks underneath it. And it doesn't have to go all the way along because it's holding it enough in place. But to hold it in place in the front, just gonna make a little step out here, and that's gonna stop it from flicking forwards. Got nothing to stop it from flicking backwards, but that's okay. It'll hold in place fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> fine, all right. Speaking of fine, we need to put some more brickwork in at the top to connect connect all of these walls that we've just made, but not connect the sliding door because we want it still to slide. So I need to concentrate on which bits, yep, that still slides. And then these ones go along to tie the mint wall in and eh, Bob's your uncle's fantastic. That is so good. And then our dark gray smooth tiles for along the top and that'll hold all that wall in place nicely. There we go. All right, massive sliding door. 
<laughs> on. And a little grill work going on down here to step out onto the balcony. And over here is where we're going to attach the tree. So we need some jumper studs to create a little platform to attach the pot of the tree to the base plate and just lift it up a little bit. So it'll add, it'll make it look as a bit like there's a bit of shadow underneath so it'll add depth to the whole picture. Let's have a look. See? There we go. That's fantastic. <laughs> so tall. Right. Slidey door in. Enormous tree in. We need to make this balcony bigger. This is not going to be enough space, especially as I want to put a hanging chair in here with this fantastic windscreen piece, this windshield piece. Uh, oh, but I forgot to put these in before. So last video we made a plant for inside. And that goes here. And I forgot. I can't believe I forgot. There's actually a little space. I left a little stud at the back to put in an ornament. Or it could even be a standing light if I lit this apartment up. And this, you might actually recognize this because this came directly off Elsa's Ice Castle, the, the adult version. So these are the spires, the big ice spires on the outside. I've just taken a little bit of the spiky bits out. <laughs> and I've made it more icy sword-like. So you can double as a weapon if she needs, <laughs> needs some protection in the apartment. So this is going to go in the corner. I reckon that would look really cool as a standing light. My gosh, maybe I should light this up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that would look really good. Okay, nice hanging chair. We need to make the space for that. So extending the balcony out and holding it in place with just some white bricks to take this wall out here. And speaking of walls, we need something to hang the chair from. And we're going to use a transparent wall, a completely see-through clear wall to do that, like a glass back wall to the balcony. And I think that'll be a good height. Yeah, that'll be a good height. So we just need a little jumper stud piece on here. And then if we use a clip here, we can actually angle this now. We should be able to angle it around a little bit without impeding putting more bricks on the side to hold that whole wall in place. So let's put some more transparent pieces along the top here and then we can just use the smooth tiles to hold that whole wall together. Nice. There we go. And that's how we've suspended our swing chair. I'm just so excited to use this swing chair. It's just, I mean, it was so right for Elsa. And look, I mean, Mini Doll looks so cute in it. I think her rubbery hair really helps her stay in it as well. So, see, look at that. That's so cute. And she can just sit here and look out over the city in her penthouse apartment. Right, speaking of which, we are going to need, because this is really high up, we're going to need, I mean, even if it wasn't really high up, I'm sure that there are rules that say you have to have protective railings. But we're not going to do that yet because in here, you know, I, I mentioned before I wanted a yoga area because I, I just think that would really, that would work well for <laughs> I'm all about the yoga areas. A nice place of solitude and meditation and introspection out here on her balcony. So I'm making her, building her a yoga mat. And these nice, these nice uh, dots pieces again, even though they look hard and shiny, they're not. They're just a little bit textured, but they're still spongy and comfy. And they're just the right colors and they were sparkly. So it was just, it was just too right not to use them, even though they look super uncomfortable. I can guarantee you in the fantasy land that's... <laughs> taking shape inside my head. They're so not. And she needs a water bottle as well right near her mat. And you've got to have some plants around. I mean, she has got a massive tree. Have you noticed that uh, I've deliberately made this a chaos-free apartment? Her apartment is actually very minimalist and very regimented, I suppose. So she's got a nice clean line of just greenery plants here next to her meditation mat because she's had enough chaos in her life. Let's put the railings in now and going to once again try and make them as see-through as possible so we don't ruin the view because we're in the punt we're in the penthouse. That's what you pay for is the view. So into the hooks goes a glass window piece and ta-da! Now we got some nice glass glass railing happening but we're also gonna break that up with some more blocky yeah, we're breaking it up with these. So let's put, <laughs> we're alternating our black window pieces and our glass window pieces so that it's just more interesting. Otherwise it would just be all glass all the way around and that's not, that's not interesting. I mean, it's very clean lines, but I think this is clean enough too. Look at that, we can still fit this chair in here. And there's an empty spot on the end, so I'm just going to backfill that with something that matches our little black railing bit and the same thing on the other side. Oh look, here's one I prepared earlier, just like the one on the other side. Perfect. All right. So this is her balcony. Now we just need to put some soil in here and this 
<laughs> is dangerous for Elsa because we've knocked her out. It's really, really hard to get my fingers in here now at <laughs> this angle around this enormous tree and all the walls that I've created. So we'll just move Elsa out of the way because that'll be one less like bonus confusion feature to try and work around and get as many of this, this dirt soily brown in as I can. And I've, I've used like mid brown and dark brown as well just to give it a bit of texture and of course we need a leaf an autumnal leaf that has fallen from the beautiful birch tree that we just installed on the balcony okay all right so this is what I have so far and actually this is as far as I have come with Elsa's apartment and I'm I can't guarantee you that I'm actually going to make more of this I want to but one I don't know if I have enough pieces but two it actually got so tall that it's if I try and extend this I mean look how tall it is I don't I don't know how I would put a bedroom and a bathroom and a kitchen into this and plus you need some something to get up to the next level so we'd have to like make it twice as big again out this side and maybe a lift to get up to the next level and the next level could of course be her bedroom and have a little oh see I always had this idea of having a pool on the very very top and then we could tie this window in look I haven't planned anything yet for the rest of her apartment at the moment this is a standalone little scenario a little diorama <laughs> with an exposed bookcase at the back but this is all I have for now but let me know in the comments any suggestions you have for what should be integrated into the rest of Elsa's apartment if I were to build it and I'll see what I can incorporate into it if I can even I just I just don't even know I don't even know if I can even but we'll just have to see all right leave me a comment let me know what you think and check back in because more videos are always come up there's always new stuff happening here <laughs> so I'll see you I'll see you for that all right bye